Hello, welcome back to episode 5 of my playthrough of Feed the Beasts, Stone Block 3. Um, we've done a little bit of work between episodes. First of all, something I didn't show um, when I did do it was about, I think it would have been, I forget which episode it was, but whichever episode it was that we got ourselves into the mob souls, it would have been episode 2 or 3. Um, I actually built a dropper. I don't know if you can see it. It's um, There's a very like small there dropper spawner built in. And I just had this running in the back of the base just so that I could make mob saws as much as I needed them. But turns out I didn't really need a whole lot of them. Um, I only needed the one. So we have our little selves of a mob farm. Really easy. These things, um, it's kind of cool because it's been getting us loot crates. Um, of which I've opened like none of. Um, you can see there, there's some stored there. And you can see here our inventory management thing is completely full of them. So... I want to open these, but we don't have the space for any of this stuff to go if we close out of this. You see here we're at 298 stacks of the maximum 300. We need to solve that real quick. And we're going to solve it with a, new, with a mod that we haven't played with in a while called Refined Storage, I think is what we're going to go for. Um, some cool crafting, just a bunch of nether quartz and things like that that we need to do up so we can get like the silicon. Um, I've got the, I guess the... um the ingredients of what we're going to need up here, but we need to get ourselves kind of sorted before we get to that point. So we're going to need to get ourselves uh, hands on a couple of different resources. Um, one of which that we're going to need a lot of is this quartz enriched iron. Um, thankfully, this stuff is pretty easy. It's just a piece of nether quartz and some iron and we can get uh, like a pretty decent amount of it. So we may as well make a stack of that. Um, another thing that we're going to need a lot of as well is silicon. Um, this is used in a lot of the different crafts for refined storage, which is just either smelting down nether quartz or certus quartz dust. Um, I think we have more of the certus quartz dust, so we may as well just use that, I think. Um, we're also going to need to get ourselves into making the processes, and I was just having a quick look. Um, the processes are made with, like, we have to craw like craft these, like, raw advanced processes or raw processes full stop. But these things are actually made kind of interestingly. We need to use create um, to deposit these different things. I'm pretty sure if we look at all these processes, processes rather, they all use the same recipe. It's just the different input items, which actually makes life kind of easy. So we can build this setup um, with some belts and have all of this working pretty quickly, I think. It shouldn't take too long. I just need to get some way of generating a ton of rotational force and then just inputting this stuff into some mechanical deployers. So I think that's what we're going to work on this episode. I thought this was going to be a bit of a quicker one thinking it's like, oh yeah, it's just refined storage, but this might take a bit longer since we need to set up a whole create um, system. All right, so we need to get hands on three of these deployers. Um, that's not going to be that difficult. Um, making a brass hand is just going to take us some brass sheets. I'm going to need three of these and then three electron tubes. Um, again, this stuff really isn't that hard. I just need some rose quartz, which hopefully I have um, enough redstone and the system has been running kind of like while I AFK and and you know do some tidying up around the base and things moving the smeltery um, we've generated a fair amount I mean it's not ideal and given this isn't the final thing right because we also have um, if we look in here um, different ways of generating passive resources I think the chickens is probably going to be what we're going to look into in the future but for the time being this setup is pretty great I mean we're generating nuggets which is giving us like fresh iron um, as well as we have nearly 2,000 iron ore that we need to start processing at some point. Um, as well as a bunch of other stuff, right? So we're doing pretty well. Now, um, another thing that I did between episodes as well, just to kind of make this system a little bit lag, a little bit more lag-friendly, we'll, we'll call it, so that there's not a ton of entities just kind of sitting on the belt at all time, is I upgraded the regular shoots into these smart shoots and have them set up so that they can only drop once they have a full stack of it of something right so these will only drop once we get to 64 dust let's say or 64 sand in this one that makes all sand um so it just kind of lets the the cobble gens kind of build up in there before they drop into this to make life just a little bit kinder for my computer um which isn't always the best time you can see there there's a stack of gravel there and then it can quickly everything gets sent through which is kind of nice but back to business we needed ourselves three of these rose quartz these need to get sanded up. Uh, really, oh, wrong thing. That goes in that one. Um, really quickly, it shouldn't take too long to do that. The other thing is I needed four brass per craft. So how much brass do we have? 
We have tons. We got tons of brass. So that's two. That makes one hand. One, two, three, four. Makes two hands. One, two, three, four. That's all three of our hands. I need these ten brass to get smashed up into plates. Alright, that's all ten plates done. We should be able to make our mechanical hands now, whatever they're called. Let's grab that redstone out of there. Our brass hands are called, rather. One, whoops. I, I did shift click it, didn't I? Oh, I'm out of andesite alloy. That's fun. Uh, let's just make another stack of it. Doesn't hurt to have a ton of this stuff. Seems like we're going to be using create coral quite a lot. Um, brass hands, shift click. That's my two brass hands that I needed. Last thing is my last oh, two electron tubes. I need one more plate. Of course I do. All right, last electron tube, which means I can make my deployers. Um, I'm probably out of andesite cases. Yep. So I need more logs. Do I have any more? I do. Let's make like... 32 of them. That sounds like a good number. And that means I need my andesite alloy. That should be enough of those for now to make my deployers. All right, that's that. Um, what else do I need? I need to grab some of these shafts so I can set up a belt. Um, and I need a way to generate rotational power. Um, I'm trying to think... We've been using a lot of a lot of water wheels. Do we want to make something better than water wheels for the time being? And where do I want this set up? Okay, I decided to move my furnaces out of the way so I can do the setup here, I think. Um, I'm going to place these deployers here whoops, on this wall. And this is going to be where we make our bindings. I need my wrench so we can spin these guys around. Whoops, no, I don't want you to hold that. Um, I forget which way we do it. There we go. So we go that, like that. Bang, bang. And that's going to be where our deployers go. Which means underneath there is where we're going to have our belt. It's going to go there. And we need a way to feed in these items, right? Because to make processes... Now, we have the three different types of processes. Um, each of them needs the same thing, right? We need silicon, we need redstone, and we need this other thing called processor bindings, which is easily craftable with some slime balls and some string. Um, but we need a way to get those into the deployers, and I think at the time being, the easiest way of doing that is just going to be plain old hoppers. One, two, three of those. And then we're just going to hop us straight into them like that, I think. And then, just very simply as well, we're going to have an input chest and then an output chest. I need a f way of getting stuff out of that, so we're just going to use funnels, um, which we don't have any of. I think just andesite funnels will probably be more than enough. I only need two, to be honest with you. I need more dried kelp. I only need one of these, so I'm just going to cook up a stack, but... Because that makes sense. All right, that's my one dried kelp. That can turn into a andesite funnel, which gives me two of these conveniently. So we're going to have extract, insert, um, which will then work with the belt. And I just need the belt spinning that way. Um, so now we need to get rotational power to this thing. Now, I think the easiest way of doing this, we're just going to be lame. We're going to keep doing the same thing we've been doing. Um, we're just going to make some water wheels. I think water wheels, is they're, they're too good. They're, they're very powerful for what you can do with them. So let's make ourselves a bunch of those. going to start with three, and hopefully that'll be enough. I need to clear out my inventory and grab some other stuff as well. All right, and this really shouldn't be that hard. So we're going to grab, um, I think, just our water wheels. And they, we don't need a whole lot of space here, I don't think. Um, they're going to go there. That's where my rotation was going to go out. I'm actually going to speed everything up one times, which means I can put a small cogwheel there, which is going to be driven by this big one. No, other way around. Which way is it? I actually forgot. I think it's a big into small, right? Is is the way that you make things fast. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Um, which means then I need to go the rotational power into these things. And because I want all of these guys spinning the same direction, it doesn't really matter which way they spin. But we're going to use an encased chain drive. We can ponder this so you guys can see what it does. But pretty easy, like, just by looking at it, right? With one input, you can get everything spinning the same way. Um, real easy. Real, real easy way of having one input going to multiple outputs. So we're going to make these. They just require some nuggets. And we only need three of these. These three can live one, two, three, like that. Um, cool. And then the other thing is just getting another cogwheel probably off of this side. Going 
like that into a shaft to spin this thing and then this one here we can move it out for a gear shift if everything just doesn't spin the right way but we can cross that bridge once we get to it um, now the last thing we need to do then if that's the case is put in our soul sand so one two three uh, do some blocking off so we don't get water spilling everywhere and I've got my buckets of water I actually need that block off. We go one, two, three. Everything starts working. Uh, but something broke. Oh, the middle water wheel broke. That's great. So we can fix that. We can just replace that down. There we go. Cool. I need some more buckets of water. I really should just have an infinite pool in inside of the house so I don't have to keep running out here. And go one, two, and four. Oh. And three. This is now all spinning up. We can block this side off again with our small cogwheel. That should stop the water going through. And then just a block there. That'll stop that. All right. Now, is this the way that we do things sped up? I'm pretty sure it's not, isn't it? What if I move, if I switch these two around? Is that going to be double time then? I go small into a big one. No, that's not how it works. Okay, cool. Good to know. Good to know. Good to know. Alright, so that's that. That's spinning that. And go small cogwheel there. Yeah, okay. And our belts are spinning the wrong way. But that's fine. That's easily fixable. We just need to get ourselves another gear shift and a lever. Gear shift can go in place of that. We can place the lever hidden inside the wall. Bonk, that does that. Everything's going the correct way. We can pull that off of there. Move that into side casing. Block that off so now everything is hidden behind there. And this should be a complete setup, pretty much. The only thing it doesn't do automatically is smelting the bindings. But that should be okay. Um, so what do we need? We need redstone in the last one. See, and now our deployer here is holding the redstone. We needed, what was it, silicon? Or silicone, as you Americans would say, in the middle one. And then the last thing is the process of bindings, which we can craft up with some uh, slime balls and string. Conveniently, we have our mob farm over here. And only 13 string. I thought for sure we would have had more. We may as well just make the max amount that we can. Process of bindings can go in there. All right. And now we can start crafting these other things. So we need the controller, first of all, first and foremost. Um, that's going to require a machine casing, which we can make. Machine casing and then an advanced processor, which is the raw one. So I need some diamonds. Of which we have generated about 300. So I'm going to grab a stack. I don't actually going to, I'm not actually going to use the entire stack. But we can see here, if we look at the crafting, right, these um, advanced processes are used in lots of different crafts. We do use them quite often, uh, making different grids and things like that. I'm pretty sure we also use them in making our storage parts. So I am going to actually use quite a lot of these. Remember, we only have like 40 something of these, 48 of these processor bindings, which is our limiting factor. So I'm going to do... Eight to start with, and we'll see how far that gets us. But you can see here, dunk, bang, everything works in sequence. We should have the, the raw processes ending up in here. How satisfying. Wow, and that worked really quickly. Okay, nice. So we can smelt those up. And while those smelt, we can look at anything else that we need to do. So they're just for advanced processes. Disk drive needs another advanced one. Wireless processor, a wireless courier crafting thingy. Um, 
also just needs, um, what's the word? Advanced processors. And so with these ones, we should actually be pretty sweet to build everything. So I need one controller. Thank you. Um, the controller for the time being is probably going to, I'm actually going to replace all of this stuff. I'll wait until we have everything crafted up. We also need a way to generate power that, that I actually didn't think of. Um, so what kind of generators do we have? We have power. We can use power. The pitiful generator from um, industrial foregoing might not be a bad idea either, since that's a way of just using coal, which is probably what we're going to go with to start with. So what do we have in terms of power generation? I think, I think we're going to go with, I think we're going to use power. Yeah, we're going to use power fernator to start with. I think this is what gonna, we're going to use as our like main source of power generation, at least to start with. Um, cause we do have like multiple levels of this and I've never really played with it. So it might, might be something of a bit of a change. Um, everyone's using like magmatic dynamos and things from thermal. Um, we also do have like the thermo generators, which I'm pretty sure are the ones that actually use, um, lava. So we do have like all that stuff. Oh no, sorry. The magmator does it. What do the thermo generators do then? Are these like power, like passive power from like lava and stuff in world? Cause if so, that's kind of cool. Um, but yeah, can I make a magmator? Actually, we have no way of generating lava. Fernator is the way to go. Fernator. This is going to be the one that uses coal. All right, to make these things, what don't I have? Well, I have none of this stuff. Dielectric paste is coal, clay, and a bucket of lava. That's actually really easy. So I think we're going to do that to make at least two crafts of this. Let's just find a random wall to turn into lava. It doesn't really matter what I do. All right, so that got us five buckets. Let's grab out some coal, and I'm also going to need some clay. It's a pretty easy crafting recipe, at least. So we can go like that, like whoop, like that. And then we go bucket of lava in and out. Bang. That gives us, ooh, a stack and a half. Not bad. I'll take it. That's a win. No, right, so that's our mag, uh, yeah, whoop, our dielectric paste. Um, What else do I need? Need to make a furnace. Sure, that's easy. Uh, some basic capacitors, which is made with a block of redstone. We have redstone in here, I think, don't we? Yeah, we do. I think we only need the one to start with since we're not making cables or anything. So you do that and then you turn into that. Um, last thing is the dielectric casing, which means dielectric rods, which is made with iron bars. That's a lot of things we need just to make very very basic thing bang bang all right all that we need to find a spot in our storage two of these need to turn that way so we can build out this thing that's that there I'm actually just going to shift click it in because that's easier um cool that does that which means now you turn into a fernator basic one cool easy way of generating power to start with um that's that done the rest of our bindings or processes rather should be done now, which means we should be able to make a crafting grid. Um, once I get a basic grid, oh, we have more things to make. I need another machine casing. Cool, easy. What are the other things I need? So I need improved processes, which is the ones that are made with gold. So let's go grab some, actually I probably have some in here, some gold. Yeah, we do. So let's just grab out like another eight of these. Bang, that can go through there. They actually craft up pretty quickly. I'm, I'm, I'm happy with this little setup. This can also be made faster if we need to. I don't think we have like a crazy amount of like stress unit requirement. Um, so we can make it better if we need to. Oops, didn't mean to place that. Let's get these cooking up. Um, I need to get myself construction cores and a destruction core. Which is just a basic processor with some glowstone and a basic processor with, processor with some nether quartz. Basic is made with iron. Yeah. So let's grab out some iron. Again, we'll just do eight. I 
I need two of these to start with. One, two. I also need a piece of glowstone and a piece of nether quartz. And place these two in there. Destruction core. Con construction core. That can make us a grid. The grid can then be upgraded into a crafting grid. I just need a crafting table. So we can probably, I think I have one sitting out here that we can get rid of. Rather than making another one. Crafting grid. Nice. So that's two things crossed off the list. So the next one is a disk drive. So another one of these machine casings. I also need just a random chest. So it doesn't really matter what kind of chest I make. So let's grab out. You know what? We use these a lot. Let's use some logs. That makes a disk drive. Cool. And the last thing that we're going to need is some sort of actual, you know, storage disk so that we can actually plug it into the disk drive. Um, so let's go at refined. I think the nice starting point is usually the 4K. 4K is usually where I like to start. At least one of those. And 4K just means 4,000, right? So it should, it should allow us to hold up to 4,000 items. If we need to make more, we can make more. Um, so this is actually like a pretty achievable craft. So long as I grab some redstone. Okay, with a stack of redstone, we should be able to make three of the 1K storage parts. Oh, do we just go like... It's only six of those. I think I need four of these per 4K. How expensive is a 16K storage part? Pretty expensive. Maybe we don't go that far. Maybe we just make two of the 4Ks. I need eight basic processes. If that's going to be the case. And I've only got six to start with. That's okay. We can make more. Let's grab out some iron then. How many binders we got left? 24. Uh, let's grab another eight basic ones. Make ourselves another three 1K storage parts. And these can cook up real quickly. Alright, that's the eight that we needed. So we can make two of these 4K storage parts. And these can be used pretty much directly just to make some 4K storage disks. So that's one. And two of those. It's a crafting grid, that's a controller, that's a disk drive. The last thing that I want is going to be the wireless crafting grid so I can access my stuff kind of wherever we are in the base. Um, I need another one of these machine cases. I'm also going to need a wireless transmitter to be able to do that, which means I need an ender pearl. Do I have any of these yet? Have we killed any endermen? Doesn't look like we have, have we? We have so many of these loot crates. We really need to open these like quite soon. Can I get Ender Pearls any other way? Um, Philosopher's Stone is not achievable because that needs a Nether Star. We can wash some crushed end stone for a 7% chance. How do we make this stuff though? Can I make end stone? It, it is achievable if we get Conjuration Essence. I just don't have any of these Starbuncle Shards. Ender Chickens. How difficult are you to make? We have to breed nether wart chicken and a diamond chicken together to get you. Diamond chicken is a glass and a gold chicken. <laughs> There's a 20% chance to get that. Okay, so we need to get into chickens at some point. Um, That's a lot of crafting. So that's not going to happen today. So that means there's no real point making this until I get an ender pearl. Now, I don't think we can actually even get endermen. One, it doesn't look like there's any spawning. And two, even if they did, our dropper doesn't work because it operates off of water. Can I upgrade it? Do we have vector plates? We do have vector plates. Or conveyors from mob grinding use hills. Now this just requires um, sugar and some blackstone or basalt. Which one of these is easier to get? Can I get blackstone easily? Mossy cobblestone. Oh, I can... Okay, sulfire, regular cobblestone, I can get blackstone. These are achievable. Which I just need to get a ton of sugarcane. Which we can bonsai pot. Totally doable. Okay, I might set that up between episodes. We'll see. Because I, I really want ender pearls. 
But never mind that, we're not going to do that yet. That's just looking ahead. I can break these two things to start with. And I want my crafting grid there. I'll put my controller there. Um, the controller needs power. So we're going to put our furnator there. And then our disk drive just needs to get connected to it. I'm pretty sure everything should just pass through each other here pretty easily. Like I shouldn't need to have cables or anything. Then this thing just needs coal to start running. So I think I have some here. There's seven. Bonk. Should start generating power. Our controller should start filling up with power pretty soon. Bang. I don't need that crafting table because now I have this crafting grid. Oh, hey B. Drop anything cool yet? He hasn't dropped anything. How strange. Let's let him do his thing. Um, I'm probably going to actually fill this guy up with some more coal. Oh, there he goes, dropping things. Energy card, fluid card. Ooh, osmium. An egg. Oh, we need eggs. Diamond. Oh, my inventory is so full. Okay. So we have to get, we have to find a way to get everything from inside of this into our grid. Um, our grid needs their disk drives inserted. So there's our two 4K disk drives. I should now just be able to kind of just shift click everything from my inventory in there. And let's take out the things that I actually need, like all my tools and stuff. Uh, we really need to work on getting a backpack soon. Now, I think Refined Storage actually has a way that we can do this. If we go back to uh, Refined, I forget what it's called. Refined. Constructor, Destructor, External Storage, Importer. I think this is the one that I want. I think the Importer is the one that imports from other things into the system. So how difficult are you to make? Uh, importer. Not very. I just need some cables. Which needs, um, I guess, quartz enriched iron, some glass. I'm pretty sure I should have all of this stuff, actually. I should have all of this stuff maybe living inside of this thing. I just don't have the redstone. All right, and I can do one craft of that. The next thing... Oh, I've got everything there. Oh, no, minus. I need the destruction core, and I need my improved processors. Um, that didn't take anything out. Can I make you in here? I've got improved... I don't think I have, what's the one, destruction core. Destruction core I need to make. I need basic processes, which we cooked up a bunch of. I think that's the one that needs the nether quartz. Which we conveniently have in here. That, and that makes that. Which means I can make myself an importer. And this should literally just hook up if I go like that. Bang. And now, are things appearing in here? Not yet. Why are things not in appearing? You not working? Do you not work the way I think you would? Oh no, it is. It's just working super slow. It is working. It's just working very, very slowly. Okay, we can make that faster. I'm pretty sure there is a stack upgrade that we can make. Which means speed upgrades. Uh, which means lots of this quartz enriched iron. Which I have actually a lot of. So we can insert that by hand. Let's clear up this wish list up here a little bit. Because I don't need this stuff anymore. And we want a stack upgrade so we can move things, obviously, a stack at a time. That needs speed upgrades and a ton of sugar. Um, we also need regular upgrades. And they're just made with glass and that stuff. So I just need some glass. Um, bang, bang. Actually, I think we have sugar cane and stuff in here already, don't we? We totally do. Let's just keep one of the sugar cane, turn the rest into sugar. Um, and I should be able to make this all pretty easily. Yeah, so upgrade there. You turn into a speed upgrade. And I need four speed upgrades. Okay, so I need another three of these. One, oh, two, three. To turn into one, two, three of these. 
and then those can just turn into a stack upgrade and the stack upgrade can get inserted into this there we go everything is inserting much much faster and we can kind of monitor this right awesome that is a beautiful now let's get some settings out of the way here display normal we want to show descending yeah sorting by quantity search box mode i want jei synchronized so now if i type in here it should show up in jei as well so let's look up gold beautiful exactly what we want um stretch small medium large let's just go with stretch i think that one looks the best um and i think that's all that we need to do here Oh, we're getting so much stuff. Yes, this is so good. I love this. Refined storage, like, early into a mod pack. Oh, wow, we ran out of storage very quickly. I do not think our two 4K discs are going to be enough. Let's come back once this is kind of finished transporting everything, and we'll see how we stand. All right, everything got transported over. We at 90% just because I had to pull out uh, things like that. We had like raw iron, raw, like all this other stuff, like raw materials, like sitting in here. Um, and instead of just leaving them inside of this, I just pulled them outside into this drawers out here. And I think we're going to clear up some space um, in that sort of same way again. So we're going to use refined storage. Because uh, we want something that is called the external storage. I want one of these things. Um, so that we can have like things like cobblestone, sand, andesite. Anything that we have like too much of, I want it stored outside of the system. So I'm going to need myself another draw controller. Um, it's not called that. It's called a storage controller. So I want one of these. Thank you. I have none of this stuff. I need blocks of quartz. I want a storage controller. Um, so what do we need? I need to make another two drawers and I need a comparator. Comparator we can make. Uh, the drawers we can probably make as well. I've got planks there and chests there. So let's make two of those. That makes a storage controller. Um, I probably actually have drawers themselves sitting in here, don't I? Or did we already use them on a craft? Wouldn't surprise me if I did. Are you actually empty? Yeah, you are empty. Okay. Oh. Let's pick that back up. That can go under there. I can't believe we already have like 4,000 items. You know, I'm sitting in that thing. Um, let's make myself, I think it's just like a 4x draw for the time being, right? A 2x2 two two draw. I want... Oh, I want to expand you. How do I expand you? Alt click. I want to make one of these ones. Uh, four of them to start with. Sure, we can go one, two, three, four. Um, I actually want to get in behind this as well when we do do this. I want an external storage. So to do that, I need another destruction core um, and another construction core. I have no glowstone. Construction core can go there, which means now I have an external storage. Nice. I'm going to grab out my cables. And I'm just going to dig out behind the, um, the controller for the refined storage a couple blocks. Just so that I have space for like future expansion, right? Um, we're going to go cable there, controller back there with a external storage hooked up to it. Priority, we're going to go high on it. We're going to go, let's go 100. That shouldn't matter. And then I need to get my linking tool, go bang, link up to these. And then I can start inserting things like, right, we have a ton of coal, so coal can probably... Actually, it probably doesn't need to be in here. That can be in the other draw system. Um, I'll leave it here for the time being, actually. That's fine. Uh, sand can get out. Cobblestone can get out. Cobblestone. What else do we have lots of? Gravel doesn't need to be in here. 
our, our, coal, our coal filled up. So let's make ourselves a copper upgrade real quick. Make one of these. I need another drawer. Of course I do. You end up using so many of these things, man. So let's do that. Copper upgrade. Thank you. I can upgrade that one. Insert that. And because we have the high priority, this is going to keep throwing things in there. So what I might do is I'm just going to lock all of these. And now you can store 4.1 of each. All right, cool. So you should be sweet. Um, and now if I insert things into it, it shouldn't actually accidentally end up in the drawer. Um, that should be fine for now. That cleared up a lot of space. Um, should I need to clear up more? Let's put up the moss and the andesite. Just a couple of things, just to make my life a bit easier. All right, cool. Now this is like near empty. Now let's do this thing that I've been wanting to do for the time being, because we have like a ton of these loot crates from having that set up over there. We generate them pretty quickly just from certain things like dying from fall damage. All right, so we got a bunch of those. Let's grab out my other loot crates. And we'll open them from uncommon to common. I'm pretty sure we can shift right click and that'll open a stack up at a time. And that's probably too much. We've got scoots, potatoes, salmon, chicken, shepherds. Wow, we got a lot of stuff from this actually. Um, and we still have more of these to go. I don't even know if I'm gonna have this space in my storage to store all of this stuff. Rabbit stew or keep on me. Eggs. Eggs is good. We need eggs. How are we doing on space? Okay, that filled up quite a bit. Let's grab the last common one. What have you got? Another potato. Cool. Uncommon? Actually, I want those back. Loot. More food. More food. More food. Wow, that does really like good on food. Let's place the cake down so I can eat that as we need. Are you just like a hold right click or do you place? No, you just hold to eat. Okay. Uncommon novice legging. Oh, armor. Don't mind if I do. Prismarine. All right, let's open the whole thing. Screw it. Actually giving us some like good stuff. Torch bow. Oh, roosts. Oh, we got the chicken catcher, like, from that. That's actually kind of big. Enderpels! <gasps> okay. Totally worth. Totally, totally worth. Now let's put all of that junk away. More roosts. Multi-torch from Torch Bow. Um. Yeah, that's actually kind of big. Does that mean I can make this thing now? I totally can. Wireless transmitter. Wireless grid. Make me a grid. I want the wireless crafting grid. Um, I need to make a regular grid. Okay, machine casing. Um, I need all my cores. I need gold. I got you. I need gold. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Four, eight. Uh, those are those improved ones. What else did I need? I forget. Um, crafting grid. Alright. Uh, one more destruction. Which will mean one more construction. Beautiful. Um, I can make another one of those. I need another crafting table. Which means that makes a crafting grid. Bang, and then a wireless crafting grid. Nice! Okay. Now this wireless transmitter can just live on that. And now you get a 16 block range. And you need to get charged up. So can I charge you up in this? <sighs> I can't. Um, that's okay, because we can make a charging gadget, can't we? Yeah, for a block of coal. And some redstone. Totally worth um, charging gadget. This is a thing from Direwolf, which does exactly what it says. It's a gadget that charges. Um, we can power this thing with coal. 
it actually generates power relatively fast. Um, actually, it'll probably be better than this thing. Realistically, we probably could use this to generate RF for us, but we've already got the Fernator going. I can charge this up now. Um, and then I just shift right click on you, I think. Yeah, there we go. And now I can run away and access my grid. How cool is that? Now, how far can I get? 16 isn't very far, is it? Can I get all the way over here? I cannot. There, okay, so it's pretty much at the doorway. I should be able to access it anywhere in the house. Oh, not even. Okay, can we do range upgrades? At refine range. Aha! Just an upgrade and then some stuff. I think we can have like a maximum of like four of these. What are you called? Range upgrade. Range upgrade. Oh, I just need a regular one of these. Um, these are still smelting. Bang. Range. One, two, three, four of these, because I think four is the max I can fit. Oh, and I'm out of ender pearls. That's fine. But if I put you in there, now we've got 24 blocks. How far does that get us? All right, it gets us like halfway into the room. That's pretty cool. I think one more of those and we'd be sweet. I just don't have the ender pearls for it. Um, but that's kind of nice. I can grab more of these loot crates out of here. Um, that's so cool. All right, let's open the rest of these. Bonk. Bunch of food. Nothing really that good in the common ones. Uh, I'm pretty sure the clay loot crates literally just turn into clay. Um, rare would be the next one. Tectonic grenade. Horn coral. Earth slime dirt. That's kind of neat. Overgrowth seed. That's kind of cool as well. Bubble coral is kind of lame. I don't think the coral is used for anything, is it? Tree fertilizer. Not really. We can make more of it. I'm sure we can find some sort of... I'm sure there is some sort of use for it, but... I don't really need it. Um, okay. Now, epic. Experience. Gem. Grant's experience. Nice. Diamond helmet. Cover with me with diamonds, please. Chorus flower. That's kind of neat. Fire coral. Don't care about the coral. That can go away. Are you... Useful in any way? Does the chorus fruit turn into anything? I need it for ultimate stew, apparently. But other than that, not really. Okay, whatever. Um, and now we've got the epic ones. The epic ones kind of excite me. Nuclear grenade. Travel anchor. Is that one of the... Uh, travel... This is the thing, like, you can just teleport around, right? Can I make one of these? Trav... Oh, travel... Anchor. Oh, there goes my last thingy. No, no, anchor found. Do you require power, is my question. Um, base. Enter. Oh. Okay, so what if I'm over here? Oh, that's so cool. Okay, what else do we get? Fighter grenade. Grenade. What does that do? Throwable fighter grow. Okay, lame. Lame. Um, we did get some cool stuff, though. That's pretty neat. Lots of random stuff. We got a mana pot, um, pool as well, which is kind of cool. And a mana blaster. Mage robes. Iron armor. Um... Cool. The chicken catcher is actually the best thing about this, right? Because that should give us a quest. And we also got a roost. Which means all we need to do now is make a breeder. Which means we need to start up a farm. Um, okay, so that's not that hard. And then we can start getting into craftable chickens. There's a lot of them that we can craft. 
Um, they just need eggs. And we have a bunch of eggs. How many of these are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. There's 11 craftable, and we have 12 eggs. Probably more, actually. Egg. We have 18 eggs. Nice. So we should be actually able to craft all of that. Maybe with next episode, that's what we work on. So I might build out a farm between episodes. Um, so we can grab out this hay and stuff and seeds. Because we've all seen that before. We don't need to see that again. I don't, I'm probably not going to automate it either. Because uh, that's kind of boring. But cool. Um, we've got refined storage on episode 5 of a Let's Play. That's like, having this stuff early is, it's so handy, right? I can access my storage and stuff from here. That's, that's the best part about it. Um, cool. I think that's probably where we're going to leave it. That's more than enough progress for today. So, if anyone is still watching, thank you all for watching. Make sure you like the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you all on the next one. Peace.